Hi everyone, it's Lisa. I wanted to do a project share and show you guys some cards that I made this weekend. The first ones I want to show you are the Valentine's cards I made for my family. So, shh, hopefully they're not watching uh, until they get the card. Then they can watch. Um, and it was really fun to do. I didn't want to do anything too complicated and crazy. So, the hearts here, I love glitter. And the hearts are a stencil that I got from Stampin' Up, and then I stamped glue through it, and then I put on glitter from Sparkle and Sprinkle. I don't know if you've ever used their glitter, but I've got tons of it. Um, and it just sticks right on, brush off any extras, and it's awesome down there. So I used two colors per card. This one has the laser blue and green nugget. I don't know if you guys can see those colors or not. The laser blue is one of my absolute favorite colors. Um, for the purple guy or girl, I used majestic purple and pretty princess. I don't know if you can see that. My lighting in here is horrible. I don't know why I do my videos during the day, during at nighttime. Down here again, I used the green nugget and majestic purple. And then over here, I used the pretty princess and fire engine red, which is a real true red. So that's how I did the hearts. Then I put some black and white washi up top. That was from the Target dollar spot. And then the flowers I had remember from what container those were. They're Prima flowers, but I don't know which collection. And then just buttons in the middle. Then I didn't want it to just be a regular card. I wanted it to kind of flip open. So I made this little raccoon from the Cricut uh, Create a Critter cartridge. And I did one in all four colors. And then when it opens, it says little sentiment in there. And then he tucks right back in there. Um, I used my Cricut the welding to make a card that flips open like that. And then I didn't want the raccoon to show on the back, so I just covered it with cardstock that matched the front. So those are those little guys. They were a lot of fun to make. A lot of fun and bright and colorful and sparkly. The next two cards I made were for my uncle and my brother's birthdays. And these are more simple cards, or simpler cards. And I used the Stephanie Bernard set, um, Candles for Birthday. And the cool part about her sets, most of them have dies that match the set. So you stamp it, you cut it, or you cut it and you stamp it, it all matches, which makes life so much easier then fussy cutting it. So I used the outline in black and then I stamped in the solid yellow and then the polka dot candle. So that's how I did this one. And then this green stripe is just some washi. Maybe a little more light. I don't know if that helped or hurt. Um, this is just some more washi. And then I wanted to, of course, add some more glitter to the flame. So I put some yellow um, icicles on top. And then it just says blow out the candles. I didn't put anything inside yet. Um, but that's one of them. And all of these colors are um, five different Stampin' Up! inks. Five different greens. The washi, I think, was from Joann's or Michael's. I'm not sure. And same thing for the blue. Again, washi, Stampin' Up! inks, yellow icicles. So just really easy, quick cards. Um, sometimes cards for men are much harder to come up with. Then my Valentine's Day card that I don't know what I'm doing with it. I don't know who I'm giving it to. I may just keep it myself because I love it so much. This is what it looks like. And that is the, I believe her name is Love You Marcy. And she just, she's from the, um, sorry about that, somebody called. She's from La La Land Crafts. Um, and I like doing the digi stamps because you can make them any size you want. So I made her, I think I made her about three, 
about three inches tall. I colored her with Copics and I can leave all, actually I have all the markers right here. These are the colors I used for her hair. Um, E11, 13, 15, and 18 were for her hair. And then her outfit was R81, R83, R85, and R89. Um, so those are the colors I used for her. And then I used my Wink of, not Wink of Stella, Wink of Luna. What are these called? Wink of Stella brush. And just put some silver, again, some glittery stuff on her dress. Uh, the paper pad that I used, I used two paper pads. I used this one from American Crafts. And the paper, pa ooh, let's try that again, Lisa. This sheet here, I cut out the love from that, and then I also got the XO, XO love paper from this collection. It's so cute. Nope, yep, there's that sheet again. And then it doubles. And then the heart sheet I got from Hobby Lobby, the paper studio. Uh, love struck. I almost did not get this pad of paper and my friend Jean saw it and she's like, you have to get it. So she twisted my arm, of course, and I got that. So I just think it's so pretty. There's the hearts that I used. So those are the two paper pads. This silver cutout here is another die. It is also from La La Land. And then I just had random flowers and little things from Michaels and Mona Me Gabby. And of course I put some glitter, put some glitter in the flower. This is, uh, which one was this? The Pretty Princess from Sprinkle and Sparkle. There is their information. That's their phone number and then you can find them online. So that is my Valentine's card. I don't have anything inside yet, but that is her. I love her. I think she's adorable. So that's what I did this weekend. I was very busy. Hopefully we have another snow day tomorrow when I can get some more stuff done to share with you. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great night.